Helmut, you touched on DAO a little bit more. Talk a little bit more about <coughs> what that is, where it's found, um, and some of the properties okay. of that. The amine oxidase is an enzyme that is being produced by your own body, mostly in the lower intestine, but also in kidneys, in the liver, in certain parts. It is the main counterpart to histamine in your body. Why? Because nature is very clever. It always brings one substance, one natural substance into your body, and it produces a counter substance that regulates the amount of it. Because the body knows if there is too much histamine, we have this overreaction, so we need something that controls that. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about enzymes in general is that they are, you can say, either very clever or very stupid. They only know one thing to do. In that case, it's, it's, it knows how to degrade histamine. It's degrading that to two substances. I don't want to go too deep into chemical details, but these are completely harmless for the body, and they are just washed out. It can't do anything else. So if there is no histamine, or let's say a healthy amount of histamine around it, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there and says, okay, there's no work to do, fine with me. Okay. As soon as a certain level is exaggerated, then the DO reacts to it and starts degrading. It does that to a certain amount of histamine. This is also very important. So if you reach a peak that is, say, 10,000 times higher as the normal one, then the DO also reacts like the classical worker. He stands in front of the big pile and says, me, only me should dig that off. I don't do that. And I stop working as well. And that's actually the situation that you have when you get histamine intolerant. You have large amounts of histamine from food in your body. The, even if there is a little of DO there, it stands there, looks at it and says, no, no, no I mm -hmm. can't do that. That's too much work. No, I, I just stop working. Okay. So you should have a certain level. You need a certain level of DO to really counteract to any kind of mm -hmm. histamine. That comes from outside. So if, if DAO is naturally occurring in our body, I mean, you can, you can supplement DAO, correct? That's if it's naturally so occurring, why would somebody need to supplement? Why would they not have enough? <coughs> What's, what would maybe precipitate yeah. that? Yeah, the reasons are manifold. Um, first of all, there can be a genetical disposition that you simply have too little DAO, that you produce too little DAO. Okay. Therefore, you have the problem really from birth onwards. Why it is like that, nobody knows so mm -hmm. far. The second form is the so-called learned form of histamine intolerance, which means as many enzymes in our body, the production of it gets less with age. And the same, you eat more with age and less, let's say, healthy food with mm -hmm. age. So this as a combination also leads to the form of histamine intolerance. And this lead, these two are the so-called permanent histamine intolerance cases, which means you have that all your life. Mm -hmm. and you can't really escape it. There's a second form which we call temporary histamine intolerance, and that's a very interesting part. This is something like people like you and me. We do have normal DO levels in our lower intestine, but there are certain substances like drugs or, for example, alcohol, which are the main blocking substances to this enzyme. Mm -hmm. So I always say the, the most the best known case of temporary histamine intolerance is the so-called hangover. I mean, we never had that. You didn't. No. We, need we just heard that there is something like I've this. heard many times yes, about so. it, yes. Uh, and that's actually coming from the histamine intolerance. Okay. So it's not really a problem of the alcohol per se. The alcohol blocks out the DO in your lower intestine. As soon as the alcohol blocked it out, and most of the alcohols carry histamine itself, or normally you eat something while you drink mm. something. Mm -hmm. Most of these foods also carry some histamine. So what you did is you completely blocked out your natural barrier. So the histamine that comes with it freely goes into your body and that causes the, the headache that you have the day after. Mm. So that's a very simple solution if you take one of our capsules and it's really like that. That's actually the way I use it regularly. If I have business dinners where you know, okay, this is going to be a long evening, I take one capsule before and it just works. Mm. It's very simple.